also decided to do the inspection in the garage because of uh, because they're out and about. This is the bottom box and the uh, bottom board. Um, I know that there's a bunch of dead bees in there. I'm gonna try and get a sample of those. Uh, I'll have details about sending that out. I believe we send them off to uh, Maryland. Um, so if I see anything in here, um, I'll let you know. I think we want to look for, uh, I've understood uh, little white specks would be varroa mite, um, poop, excrement, uh, which could be the case. So we'll pull these out and take a look at these frames. Okay, you can see some. So here's another pollen frame with, uh, now obviously this down here in the bottom, I don't know, could be, but as you look in uh, some of these frames higher up, there you go, you can kind of see the stuff sticking on the edges. There's one that looks really white. So we're gonna have to have somebody look at that, check it out. But I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it was Varroa so this was the outside frame uh, it was pollen that maybe had some nectar in it um, I hadn't heart seen any bees really in the bottom box there was one or two just kind of stuck to the frames but if you look here here yep you can see that the specks of stuff in the combs there's one there's some. If you kind of get the right angle on it. You can see that dust in there. There's some. See that speck right there? And there's some down below. So it kind of makes me think uh, maybe the Varroa got out of hand. And uh, here's what the bottom looks like. There's the bottom. It's been cold enough, I don't see any mold. I think I'm gonna be able to get these bees into a container and send them off. That was just the one side, I had it divided. The other side I kind of cleaned out quite a bit. Oh, there's a dead hive beetle. It's definitely been cold enough since they died that I'm not worried about anything being alive. Um, and I mean, the last few days it's been zero, so. Use my easy check. I'm gonna put alcohol in it. It says you're supposed to put these things in alcohol as soon as you can. Um, I know it's been a little while, but like I said, I don't see any mold. Um, you know, the lab will tell me. I'm gonna put them in there and then that way I can pull them out of the alcohol when I go to ship them because you can't ship them in the alcohol, it said. So I'm gonna scoop these girls up and put them in there. I got a much bigger sample that I need, I'm sure. But uh, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna be better safe than sorry. I'm gonna put some uh, rubbing alcohol in there and let these girls sit in there. And um, then when I'm ready to ship them out, I'll put them in a Ziploc bag or something and get them out of the alcohol. Closer inspection, I think we might've found a problem. There's a mite, there's a mite, there's a mite, there's a mite, there's a mite. Might, 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 might. They're all over the place. I think you see some there. Might, might, might. Varroa mites. They are everywhere. Let's look over here. See if we can see them. Yep, there's one there. There's one. Yep. Yep, kind of what I figured. I think we uh, let the Varroa mites get the best of them. I'll try to see if we can't do a better job this time, this, this year. There's just a bunch of them right there. All those little red pepper seeds. 
Those are Varroa mite. I bumped the bottom board onto a piece of wood and you can just see, I think that's Varroa. Varroa, Varroa. Bunch of Varroa there, all the little red circular spots. There's a bunch, there's a bunch. Definitely a lot of them. So here's some bees in the cells. Now, I don't know, I mean, I see that stuff in the cells again, but that might just be where they uncapped. And they're, of course they're stuck in there or in there eating right next to honey. Tons of honey up here, but my guess is their numbers dropped and they didn't starve. They just wasn't enough of them to keep warm. So they, that's why they died right there. This is interesting. So there's a bunch of uncapped brood Oops, I got flashlight printed. So there's a bunch of uncapped brood. There's some brood that was almost done and hatching. Just kind of spotty there at the end. My guess is they were doing they were doing okay till they just got they just got outnumbered. Yeah, it sure looks like there's a bunch of little white flakes in there. It's all from Varroa. And then look at this big patch of uncapped brood. And it could also be that the temperatures messed them up. It was warm for so long. They kept making brood and then it got cold and they uh, couldn't keep the brood warm here, it looks like. Or at least didn't have time to cap it. Okay. I uh, actually got a little bit of uh, extra wax from the uh, dead out there that was scraps through it in there. Uh, filtered it out again. I got to uh, use the little wire thing. Got a little bit more of the junk out. So we're gonna let that sit and cool. Uh, to wrap up the dead out, uh, got my bees sitting in alcohol. I'm gonna get them worked on uh, sending out to Maryland. I didn't see any signs of like nosema or anything like that. There was no poop in the hive from the bees. Uh, obviously I saw a lot of varroa mites, some beetles, um, but nothing that uh, would give me an indication that the honey and the frames wouldn't be good to, okay to give to the other hives once the season hits. Okay, we are going to Put our bees in a bag here to send off to the Baltimore lab. <clears throat> what I may end up doing is double bagging it or something just to make sure it doesn't leak. So I've had them sitting in the alcohol like I was supposed to. Pull that out. in the bottom Let's see if you'll be able to see those quite a few of them there's my bees I'm gonna seal that up and then I think I'll put another one on it just to make sure it doesn't leak or anything that's about it